Okay, so we are now going to look at how do we deal with fractions. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do um, I'm gonna do a separate example. We're gonna take three. We're gonna take uh, let's take seven eighths. Okay, let me get rid of this. How do I do that? Okay, like that. We're gonna take seven eighths and say what happens if we have that to the negative two power. All right. So the first thing we have to understand is when you have when you have anything like this, right? Um, so let's say that I had 7 eighths to the second power, all right? So we're, we're putting this on hold for now. Let's just say I'm doing it with a positive power, all right? What that means is I have 7 eighths times 7 eighths. And another way of looking at that is, well, wait a minute. Can't I just take this exponent and apply it, right? to that and then apply it to this because seven times seven is seven squared and eight times eight is eight squared, right? So whenever you have a fraction with a power outside of it, you just apply the power to everything that's in the fraction. So if you have, you know, two over three X to the fourth power, that would just be two to the fourth, three to the fourth, X to the fourth, right? You just apply that to all the different um, components of that quotient, all right? So why am I showing you this? Well, I'm showing you this because now what we're gonna do is we're gonna rewrite this as seven to the negative two because we're applying this to all these different pieces over this. All right, so now let's use what we know about negative exponents. I'm assuming you've watched the other video. So what the negative exponent tells us is that it's changing position. So that means this whole term is going to move down here. And this one, because it's down here and it's negative, and I apparently just am not very good at doing this today, um, is going to move up top. So it's basically they're changing places. So you wind up with 8 squared over 7 squared, okay, which is uh, 64 49ths. Now, the easy way to do this is just to recognize that all you got to do when you have a negative exponent with a fraction is just literally flip the fraction and then make the exponent positive. So 7 eighths to the negative 2 power becomes 8 sevenths to the second power. And then you go through this, and when you go through this and apply that to everything, that's how you get this. All right, so let's try that with these examples right here. So we have 2 thirds to the negative 1. So we're going to take this and we're going to flip it, right? We're going to flip everything. So we're going to have 3 over 2 to the 1 power. And anything to the 1 power is just that thing. So you just would rewrite it as 3 over 2. All right, let's look at this one. We're going to flip this one because it's got a negative exponent. So it becomes 4 over 1 to the 1 which is just 4 over 1, and we can simplify 4 over 1 just as good old 4. All right, here's, here's one that's going to require a little more thought. Okay, 3 fourths and a negative 3. Well, first of all, let's flip this thing. All right, so we have 4 thirds to the now positive 3 power. So this is going to be 4 to the third over 3 to the third. Well, 4 to the third is this and 3 to the third is this and if you already know this then good for you but you have 64 over 27 okay so that's that's how you deal with the uh, with with the negative exponents all right so let's try uh, let's try this last example that we have here before we're going to stop right here so we have six fifths and a negative two so if you haven't tried already pause the video and then try this problem and then come back and watch me do it. Okay, so we're gonna start by flipping it, turning it into five six squared, all right? So another way of writing this is five six times five six, right? So you get 25, 36. And that is simplified and uh, you're in good shape, all right? So now let's, uh, let's stop here.
and then we will pick up uh, right here in the next video. Okay?